This is Dr. Lewis Blevins of Pituitary World News with another in our series of uh, radiographic uh, videos to teach you how to review MRI films. This is an interesting gentleman who presented with uh, hypogonadism and had mild to modest hyperprolactinemia. That prompted performance of this MRI. And I'll flip through the images now so that you can see. As I have shared with you in the past, we start to find the cella by looking for what's called the carotid siphon on either side. So you'll see this sort of double cut through the blood vessel as it's making a loop and you slice down through it and you get the, the loop that you can see here. And the cell is usually between them. So we see the cell here and this looks distinctly abnormal. So let's go through the cell and see what we can find. This black space below is the sphenoid sinus here, are the temporal lobes of the brain. So here we can see again, this is a very abnormal looking cella. Things start to really clear up and illustrate what's really going on here. You can see this area looks like a cyst, probably is a cyst. Here's the pituitary gland, very small. And then this grayness here and there and there is all spinal fluid and we see the same gray in the cella. There's a little bright signal here, keep going through follow that and you can see that little bright signal is actually the pituitary stalk. So we have optic chiasm here, pituitary stalk coming down along the side of the cystic lesion. So this patient has two things. First, there is definitely a nearly full, I would say a significant partially empty cella, uh, just a little bit of pituitary tissue in the floor. The infundibulum goes all the way to the floor of that, to the pituitary tissue. And then there's a cystic lesion on the, le on the right side of the gland. This probably is a cystic pituitary adenoma, an adenoma that's undergone cystic degeneration. Uh, it could be a, uh, an arachnoid cyst, probably not a Rathke's cleft cyst because it's not in the region of the Rathke's cysts. Now, if we look at the sagittal films, here you can see the pituitary is flattened. It normally should be as high as where the arrow is here now. So it's probably one fifth the normal volume of the pituitary. So this confirms the empty cella. You can see here the stalk going all the way straight down to the floor of the cella where the pituitary is located. This used to be called the sword sign because it looks like a sword, the blade of a sword, I should say. It's what it's called, it's the sword sign. Uh, here it is as, again, and then you can see here is the cystic uh, uh, lesion that's either a cystic tumor or an arachnoid cyst. But it's clearly separate and distinct and not part of the empty cell. It's something else that's happening in the pituitary gland. And this could even be a cystic prolactinoma. There's no other evidence for tumor here. Uh, it could be a prolactinoma that rotted and degenerated and formed a cyst. Uh, but, uh, at any rate, uh, this gentleman is interested in surgical exploration to uh, define exactly what's going on on the right side of his gland. It's a little bit of a risky procedure because with the partial empty cella and the cella already being spilled with, filled with spinal fluid, he is at a higher risk of a cerebrospinal fluid leak with surgery. But uh, Dr. Kunwar is an excellent surgeon and I think we can accomplish removal of this cyst, determine what it is, follow his prolactin, and uh, evaluate other pituitary functions after surgery to see whether he has uh, a growth hormone deficiency that may require treatment as many patients with this degree of empty cella do have growth hormone deficiency and require therapy uh, for such. All right, once again, Dr. Lewis Blevins uh, of Pituitary World News. I hope that you enjoyed seeing these films. Have a great day.